Hey guys, it's me Chris here and today I'll be answering a very, very common question, which is what camera should you buy if you're starting out on YouTube? So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and set straight in. So before I start this video, I'd just like to say that I'm not huge on YouTube. This is just my tips and my advice. Obviously you can go in any direction uh, that you like. This is just my tips and just basically what, what I recommend. So if you're starting out on YouTube, I'd definitely go for an affordable option. Um, the only thing you want to take into consideration is that YouTube is an invest investment, so you're going to have to put quite a lot of money into it. Obviously this, this kind of depends on what kind of videos you create. Um, but personally, right now, I'm using something like the Canon EOS 700D with just the kit lens 18 to 55 millimeter. So something like this in this kind of tech environment, um, I use two soft boxes. So this one is to illuminate my face, and this one covers in um, like the shadows and things like that. Now, this, no, this is kind of going away from the subject of which camera you should buy. But definitely a start, if you're starting out on YouTube um, for pretty much any topic out there, except for if you're doing gaming videos, you want to go for something like the um, Elgato, whatever that is. I'm not in that department, but I'll link a few of those in the description below. Anyway guys, so yeah, like I said, I'm using the Canon US 700D with two soft boxes, but I think if you're starting out on YouTube, I'd definitely go ahead and look at something that you've pretty much already got, which is probably a smartphone as you guys can see here i've got the samsung galaxy note 4 records in 4k guys um, at 30 frames per second obviously you might just have an iphone whatever it might be um, it's, as long as it records in hd even 720p you might get away with sometimes 1080p is the main way to go um, but yeah if you've got a mobile device definitely go ahead and use that to your advantage Go ahead and get something like the Xories, um, which allows you to basically, basically go ahead and hold your phone. I think it's called the phone holder or folder. Um, I'll definitely link that in the description below, guys, for you to go ahead and check out. So with this um, smartphone kind of setup thing going on, you obviously want to get a tripod. It doesn't have to be the most expensive thing in the world, but just go for a basic um, kind of tripod. Depends on what you're doing, like I said, topic-wise. Um, but if you're going for something like tech videos, go for something that's strong, well-built, um, and you're gonna get like the best bang for your buck, really. But yeah, guys, as far as a camera, if you've got a smartphone or anything like that, I'd definitely use that to your advantage. So if you haven't got a smartphone and you're just looking for a high-quality camera, I would definitely recommend something like this here, the Canon EOS 700D. You can pick this up now online for around 400 pounds with the kit lens. Now you have got to obviously take it into consideration on what your budget is. Um, let's just say for instance you have a very low budget of £100. If you're in the UK, like I am, go ahead and look on Amazon or Argos, whatever it might be, and just look for a cheap camera that's um, got good write-ups and it provides a very good HD experience really. Um, obviously you're not going to get anything like a DSLR for that price, um, but things you want to take into consideration is the image quality, but also your microphone quality or audio quality as well. So I'd definitely go for a camera that can, re can record very, very good um, 1080p footage, but then you're also going to look at the mic and um, audio side of things. To be honest, I wouldn't really worry about the internal kind of microphone because generally they're not that good. If you can get a camera that has a audio input like my one does here, you can then go ahead and plug a microphone in. The microphone I'm using is only around seven or eight pounds and it works really, really well when I've twisted with a few things on um, Premiere Pro. But really, really great um, camera and bundle kind of thing I've got going on here. But like I said, guys, if you've got a smartphone, use that to your advantage. Um, but if you don't, go ahead and check out a camera that you may find, like I said, on Amazon or Argos um, that's in your budget and records in full HD 1080p. Um, but also, if you, in that market, if you can't get one that has a built-in microphone or you can't get one that has a built-in microphone input, make sure you take the audio quality into consideration as that can really um, be an important factor um, of your video quality. So hopefully that did give you guys a bit of a insight on what camera you should go for. Um, like I said, it is definitely dependent on what kind of topic or videos you create. 
But yeah, guys, I'll link a few cameras in the description below, guys, which I recommend. Um, and yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, once again, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for all latest tech content. Like I said, guys, I don't know everything about YouTube, but definitely these are just a few tips that I do recommend taking into consideration. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll see you next time.